get him because he told this to me himself. That is yeah. a funny way of showing you lessons. Today it's time to stop singing and start swinging. I just need you to know that I see you and I'm proud of you. I need you to remember that you royal and we have He took at least nine that we know about. And I'm not speculating because he told this to me himself. That is yeah. a funny way of showing you lessons. Today it's time to stop singing and start swinging. I just need you to know that I see you and I'm proud of you. I need you to remember that you royal and we have. He took at least nine that we know about. And I'm not speculating because he told this to me himself. That is yeah. a funny way of showing you lessons. Today it's time to stop singing and start swinging. I just need you to know that I see you and I'm proud of you. I need you to remember that you royal and we have. Barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you guys coming through. Appreciate you guys coming through. Checks and balances, nine wives, man. Deontay Wilder, October 15th, man. Make sure you guys go support it. But I'm, I'm going to talk about something which is important to me. And I don't care what you call me. I'm be called a coon, a coward, and but when in reality, I'm actually a fucking hero. And, 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 and I'm going to talk about that. And hopefully I inspire the men that need to be inspired, man. Because it's time for us to take a stand. And I've been taking a stand and I'm completely unwavering on how I feel about this. See, Dolores Tucker was correct. I was young and dumb and 20 something years old and a Tupac fan. And uh, but now you look at the community and you like. Hip hop is, I, I don't know what percentages it play, but it plays a part in the destruction of black men. What's the top 10 song? What's the number one song out right now? How Jay Z used the, used the, uh, Jay Z used a, uh, used the stove. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to explain something about men, man. Black men destroying our communities, man. It's not the white man. Black men, black men created gang banging. Oh, it was used to protect the community. And then the white man came and, and then uh, they started hating each other. Well, how the fuck did the Bloods and the Crips get in all these other states? The prison system. Yeah, it's the prison system. Oh, I hate the white man. But now you in, you in court for child support. You going through a divorce. Black man created gang banging. Black men still selling drugs in the community. Black men still pimping black women. Black men uh, still molesting little boys and little girls. And guess what? Mommy, auntie, cousin, everybody quiet. But you loud about that white man, but you don't live with a white man. We could change our circumstances overnight. Overnight. How, Fred? Get the people out the community that need to be out the community. We walk scared around the game banger. Oh, I don't want to say nothing to him. He might kill me. If a police officer comes rah, 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 like a motherfucking uh little ass chihuahua, you know what I mean? <laughs> you ain't gonna do nothing, you just gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. See, Dolores Tucker was right. And I'm gonna be super coon. I don't care. I'm the new super coon. The old super coon ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> yeah, because I'm gonna hold us accountable to the standards because. Unlike what everybody else talk about, man, 90, 99% of the people talk about on the internet, 
I am the 1% that had character, that had disciplines, that had a game plan, that got it. You guys saw me. I came on the internet rich with a family. Y'all watch me buy properties over the years. Watch my stock portfolio go from nothing to something. And now you're watching me on an estate worth well over eight figures. With my family still together. With Lincoln winning every award in the school. Kennedy just got starred a week. So I'm telling you what ingredients you need. I've invested in my community. I'm not saying I'm the biggest and the brightest star in the community. But who the fuck wants to live in an impoverished community by choice? We're destroying our own communities. And the men that have disciplines that don't have that cool character characteristic or have outgrown it like me, I've outgrown it. I'm a coon because I say, oh, that shit is wrong. I don't play that around my... Let me show y'all Lincoln's playlist. Because y'all got to fully understand, you got to be a 24, 24 hour, seven day a week parent. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. I just don't, I just don't broadcast it. Motherfucker broadcasting it. Oh, I, I did 13 mollies. <laughs> Uh, not that it matters, man, but basically I got, uh, you know, I got instrumentation and, uh, I got Duke Ellington, John Coltrane, Malcolm, Malcolm X, Ballad of the Bullet speech. And, and, um, you know, I got Stevie Wonder, Happy Feelings by Frank Beverly and Mays. Dre and I song, Adore, you know what I mean? And the list goes, Ballad of the Bullet. You guys can see. I don't have to lie to y'all, you know what I mean, if you guys want to look at it. But the point I'm making is we got to be a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week parent, man. It, you can't take a moment off as a parent. And your character and your integrity must grow with your child. How the fuck you listening to Future in the Car with your 10-year-old son? How the fuck you smoke? How the fuck your car smell like weed when you pick your son up from school? You know why you do it? Because you wasn't given the tools. Your father didn't fucking give you the tools, man. Your father was strung out on cocaine. Your dad was pimping. And your mother accepted it. It was a choice to have you. But we want to sit here and be all forgiving. Eliminate that crap. Eliminate that crap. If you know someone with a better plan that works, by all means, use their plan or sprinkle a little bit from them, him, her, me. You know what I mean? Shout out to the pronoun community. You know what I'm saying? But we want to sit and praise rappers and idolize rappers and, and see Dolores Tucker was right. That shit is destroying our community. And that's why we got to allow grown black men to grow up. If a grown black man at 40 years old is glorifying drugs, pimping, uh, 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 game banging, crip walking, he is 100% the problem. And why are you supporting it? Don't you want your daughter to get married? Y'all motherfucking men act like you don't want your daughter to get married. You want your daughter to be a hoe? You want your daughter to be a city girl? Ain't no one here at my house now, so I can go. That's what you want. You want your daughter to be a fucking city girl, huh? Yeah, yeah, twerk that, bend it over, bang, bang, shang, shang, put it in my mouth. That's what the fuck you want. You don't want your daughter to have integrity. You want your daughter to be a city girl. You want your daughter to be Meg Thee Stallion, Cardi B, Beyonce, church girls. That's what the fuck you want. That's what you training her to be every fucking time you pick her up playing future and your car smells like weed. 
Every time you leave the house, the mom is midriff, ass, titties out. Yeah, your daughter's going to be a fucking city girl. Yeah, yeah. And guess what? The black men allow that shit. I don't give a fuck who I offend anymore because I'm self-made, well-paid. None of y'all niggas can move my rock. It is impossible. A comment on the internet can't move me. <laughs> it can't. It's impossible. Shout out to Kevin Durant, Kevin Garnett. Call me a coon. That's a compliment at 44. Call me a sellout. That's a compliment at 44. I'm doing my job. You know, while you listening to me at your job, I hate the white man, but you making his last name wealthy than a motherfucker. Oh, y'all making him wealthy than a motherfucker. Fred works for the white man. No, you do. <laughs> Fred's a Republican. No, your boss is. <laughs> that means you lack integrity. If you can call me a coon and you work for a coon Republican, you have no integrity. <laughs> See, Dolores Tuckett was right. And if Tupac would have got older and if he would have made it to 35 and had kids so he could see the realities of which is pain that that music and his character is inflicting upon the black community, he would have evolved. It's painful to see that Tupac didn't evolve. It's painful to see that Nipsey Hussle was evolving. It's painful to see that Snoop is 50 fucking years old and has not evolved. The man is married with a beautiful family, but he's a game banger when the cameras come on. Black men have destroyed our fucking communities, man. It's not the white man putting up graffiti, little tank tank, little bing bing, little sing sing. It's not the white man doing the graffiti. Actually, the white man creates jobs in the black community. You know that weed dispensary you go to, that 99 cent store you go to, that motherfucking uh Ralph's Kroger supermarket, that uh uh Stater Brothers that you go to, that food for less, that's a white man store. Black men got to stand up. Your father fucked your mom and then fucked you. Oh, um, left Never came back. Seven out of ten of us are living without our fathers. That's not an accident. That is a learnt behavior. Not being a father is a learnt behavior. It is in your rap music. It is in everything that you snort, everything that you smoke. It is a learnt behavior not to be a father because if you're God-fearing, if you was made in God's image, guess what you're going to be like? You're going to be more God-like, niggas. But we want to sit here and ignore it. Oh, man, it's the white man I should fear. No, Pac said it's my own kind doing all this. And they say it's the white man I should fear. But it's my own kind doing all the killing here. We got to let these grown men grow up. I grew up and I am a living example of this shit. I didn't have a father. I had a great grandfather. But he lived in New York. I lived. I left him when I was eight. I came to California. I would visit him every summer, the whole summer. The best times of my life, man. Only God knows where I would be without him. Oh, man. You got to be straight up and down as a man. You can't be crip walking on Saturday and, and, and praise dancing on Sunday. We're cowards, man. How the fuck the government kick you out your own fucking house? I made my decision on that. A, a government cannot kick you out your fucking house. Turn down the motherfucking benefits and go build and create, nigga. Or leverage it. How about you leverage it? I'm going to use me as the example. I got laid off. 
2007, 2008, I was on unemployment. Unemployment ran out. Fred didn't go downtown and get uh, uh, food stamps and WIC and whatever they gave me in 2007. Two, you know what I did? I doubled and tripled down on my business. I made it happen. Dre could have went down there and got on welfare. I could have went down there and got on welfare. She's in med school and I'm unemployed. No, no. You know, I did. I, I made that training business work. Next thing you know, I'm training uh, uh, shit. DeMar DeRozan, uh, uh, Brandon Jennings, uh, uh, Antoine Wright, uh, 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 so many other motherfucking. Jeff Adrian, Rudy Gay, all these motherfuckers, man. I bet on myself. If I would have got there get on that welfare, I would have never known what it's like to be hungry because I had welfare. I had food stamps. I can go buy food. But I knew if I didn't work, I didn't eat. Sometimes I didn't get home till 11 o'clock at night. I couldn't work out. I remember going to a restaurant. Swear to fucking God. I remember going to a fucking restaurant. I went on a date with Dre in 2000, early 2000s, man. 2003, 2000. No, nah, after 2007. Whatever it was. Dre will tell you the story. I had $27 to my name, but I promised her we were going on a date. We went on a date. She ate. I lied and said that the pancakes weren't good. They brought it back. You know, I said, just take it off the bill. You know why I told her to take it off? Because I couldn't afford to eat myself, but I had to make sure Dre ate. And you know what I did? I put that in my tank. I put that in my gas tank, and I went to work. I never told Dre that till years later. If you follow my Instagram story, you should have made at least $100,000 off my Instagram stories. My Instagram stories is what you're paying for with all these other guys. I give it to you for free, for free, for free. You should have at least, over COVID, you should have made, at least made $100,000. But we want to say, man, it's the black man destroying our fucking community. It's the black man. Guess what? If the black man is walking in high integrity, high regards, guess what happens? The police don't show up. So y'all can listen to who you want to listen to. You can listen to your favorite rap song. You can, you can work out to it. It's cool. I understand it. I understand we're not perfect. We're flawed human beings. I get it. But y'all integrity is fucked up. The fact that you can call. Here, check this shit out. Check this shit out. The fact that you can call me a coon and I haven't touched a white man hands. What was the last white man hand I shook? Not that I'm against it. Like, I've, I've grown up to be pro-God, pro-integrity. Well, let's just think about this for a second. Man, I don't know. I'm being candidly honest. I'm being candidly honest. And this, and I move by choice now. By choice. You've never seen me in a cubicle. You guys have never, ever seen me in a cubicle. You guys have never, ever seen me say, I'm doing this on my lunch break. You guys have never seen me say, hey, I, 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 hey, I can't go live. I got to work a double. You've never, you've never seen me do it. You've only seen me hustle. This, this channel is not even monetized. I was a champion before I got on the internet. Y'all see all these awards? I was an award winner before I came to YouTube. I love Malcolm X before I came to YouTube. I didn't just get on the YouTube and say, hey, I'm Malcolm X. No, I've been the same person. I just got better. And don't judge it by me. Judge it by the fruit that I bear. My children, my last name. Y'all can say what you want to say. Every day we do this. Team Hawthorne on three. Team Hawthorne on three. One, two, three. Team Hawthorne. We do that shit every day before they walk in that school. I got to let them know the most important name they will ever, ever hear in life is their last name. 
y'all motherfuckers think Gucci is the best name in the world. No, no, no. We don't we don't play that. It's about your last name, man. And our fucking fathers in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s fucking destroyed our communities, left our kids without a toolkit, without a handyman belt. They ain't got the tools or equipped to do the job. So you know what they say? When a man, they say, I sound white. They don't even think a black man could sound educated until they become a man. And they realize, hold up, hold up. You mean the less sin I create, the less sin I'm a part of, the better I will be as a man? Oh, it's not the most sin. We grow up thinking the most sin we can commit, the cooler we become. No, keep your families together, y'all. I'm telling y'all, keep your families together. I swear to God, every day I wake up the happiest man in the world. You know what was a, a, a blessing today? I was like, wow. I parked in the front. I have a half circle uh, in the front. And I have a, the size of a street <laughs> driveway. And I have a back in the back. And Dre was pulling out the garage. And she pulled her Tesla next to mine. Model X. And we had, I had to put the car seats in her car. I says, what a blessing. What a fucking blessing. The fact that she can pull her car up next to mine and we can switch car seats. Small blessings that we take for granted, man. Excuse my arrogance. Excuse me for wanting more and more and more. Shout out to Joe. I want more and more. Yeah. And guess what? I'm not hurting you to get there. And guess what? All the stock plays that I make, guess what I do on my Instagram? I give it to y'all. How many people on Instagram has given you millions of dollars of, 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 of plays? Millions of dollars. At the top of COVID, I told y'all to invest in these 10 stocks. You would have been worth at least a half a million dollars probably if you doubled up, doubled up, doubled up, doubled up. Tyron Brown went from five, he, he's $500,000. He has a three, over a $300,000 portfolio now. May of 2020, this is, he has $300,000 portfolio. <sighs> Y'all don't hear me though. <laughs> but y'all keep on doing what you're doing. I'm the coon. I'm a proud coon, man. I'm a strong coon. I don't want to be a part of y'all niggas at all. I don't want to be a part of the cool nigga crew at all. And that's when we that's when we wake up. In church, you're not a part of the cool nigga crew. Nah, you God fearing. You all knowing. You all right. You don't commit a sin on Sunday. Hey, brother, how you doing? God bless, man. You need a little change? Here you go, brother. Saturday, fuck you, nigga. I'm going to cut your ass off, nigga. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Pick your kids. Start picking your kids up from school, man. You're going to fall in love with humanity. Start dropping your kids off at school. You're going to fall in love with humanity. Trust me when I say this, man. I love black people enough so much that every... Besides employing them. And I always tell them, be bigger and better than me. Don't stay here. Don't stay here. Get more. I give people all the plays, man. <sighs> so sad. Barbershop conversations, man. You guys have a great day. Oh, man, I got the house all to myself for a couple hours, man. Only... Man, I don't know where I'm going with this, but see, Dolores Tucker was right. Hip-hop is destroying our community. The black men are destroying our community. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah, black men are killing each other. Black men are pulling the triggers. Oh, but the white man gave us the gun. Yeah, the white man put crack in front of me. I didn't snort it. The white man put pimping and prostitution in front of me. I ain't become a pimp. The black man put red and blue colors in front of me. I picked up a basketball. I ignored the shit. You mean to tell me you're not stronger than a white man? Uh, uh, and in 2022, it's not the white man. It's Charlemagne the God. It's Jay-Z. It's, it's your black brother. And you think it works? T.I.'s son just got arrested. T.I.'s daughter. T.I. daughter had a baby without getting married. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that cool culture really, really works, man. Seven out of ten of our, seven out of ten don't have fathers. Yeah, that shit really working, man. Shout out to C. Dolores Tucker, man. I can't imagine the conversation. If Tupac went to heaven and C. Dolores went to heaven, I can't imagine the conversations they having, man. Cause Tupac said it in the song. And they say it's the white man I should fear, but it's my own kind doing all the killing here. And guess who killed him? For doing what? Portraying that image, portraying that cool nigga image. I'm gone, man. Checks and balances, man. Nine wise, man. He took at least nine that we know about. And I'm not speculating because he told this to me himself. That is yeah. funny. Today it's time to stop singing and start swinging. I just need you to know that I see you and I'm proud of you. I need you to remember that you royal and we have Oh, I'm gone, peace, y'all. <laughs>